Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. Full ex disclosure, I would normally stand up, I'd walk around, I'd do what your former speaker did. This is my first public appearance after seven and a half months of chemotherapy. And... <laughs> Thank you. And I will tell you that I'm really tired of being the pinup person for my own trends. So one of the things I've been talking about for a long time is the rise of semi-wellness. And now I'm going to be the pinup girl for semi-wellness. I've also, and we're going to talk about it in a little bit, I've been talking about how angry mother nature is at all of us. Going back to my peer group, in the 70s that you spray deodorant in our gym class, in our physical ed class. And this morning, I got an alert saying that no one in the Northeast in the United States should go outside today because the air is so dangerous because of the fires burning in Canada and how it's coming over as a bright orange cloud. Look, I am an advertising marketing person. I've been in the business since the mid-1980s, are we and the companies we lead contributing to the greater good? Is society moving in the right direction? And if not, what needs to be done to correct course? Some would argue that this period of introspection and demand for change is fleeting, that we'll slip back to our old ways. And I'm going to tell you, I see several shifts that says it's going to remain stronger. The rise in allyship a pushback against hate and division, and a desire to inject meaningfulness into the emptiness of modern life. So for business leaders, it's critical to digest the impactful trends that I've discussed today. It's critical to see beyond the negative and to look for things to be hopeful about. And we need to determine how to bring all of this into our strategic planning, because every company, every individual will be impacted. And the real question is, which ones will use these trends to their advantage? Thank you for bearing with me. I really hope that you got something from this.